The main advantages of doing the biopsy at the blastocyst stage is, number one, you're only going to test embryos that are really proven from the developmental standpoint. Um, an embryo first needs to reach a blastocyst, whether it has normal chromosomes or not, needs to be a blastocyst before it can make a baby. Number two, it's much less invasive to the embryo, removing a small chunk of cells from the outer cells of the embryo, the trophectoderm, is much less invasive than removing one cell from a day three embryo. So the embryos like the procedure more. And then third, from the accuracy standpoint, your results are going to be more accurate because we've given more DNA for the actual testing. It's much more robust sample. So in my opinion, and many professionals who are truly the leaders in PGS at this point in time, feel very strongly that only blastocyst biopsy should be performed. The data pretty much speaks for itself. And um, the highest pregnancy rates, lowest miscarriage rates, and highest implantation rates with PGS, without a doubt, come from doing a trophectoderm biopsy with um, a complete testing of all the chromosomes and transferring in a subsequent frozen transfer or a fresh transfer on day six, as long as all other parameters are appropriate, that those are the highest pregnancy rates that we have.